Hey everybody, this is Ryan King, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make GIF files. We're going to be using two free and open source programs, Blender and GIMP. So you're going to need to find what you want to turn into a GIF file. I uh, videoed myself doing these and then just turned it into a GIF file. You could also use an image sequence of a bunch of pictures that you might have. So just figure that out and then let's go into Blender. Okay, so here I'm in Blender. We're gonna use the Blender video editor. So uh, I've already set it up right here, but if you don't see that, you can just go plus and then add video editing and go to video editing. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump over to video editing here. Okay, so I've got the video, so I'm just gonna drag it in and I'm just gonna go to the spot where I want to make the GIF file. And I want about there. So I'm gonna press K and cut this. This isn't really a Blender video editing tutorial, but I'll just, uh, say some shortcuts I'm doing and then I'll select both of these and delete them and then I'll cut these and then delete these so now I'm just uh, I just have this and this is what I want to turn into a GIF file also the audio you can just delete that because GIF files don't have audio so just find the area that you want to be the GIF file it should be pretty quick I mean GIF files are usually pretty quick that's kind of like the style of them they like a repeating action that's usually what GIF files are and here's the part that I want to turn into a GIF file. Now, another thing that people seem to do with GIF files is that they're always like low quality. And I think that's just kind of a style, but also just so that people can easily send GIF files. They're not like a ton of data. So this is a 1080p video, but I want it to be smaller. So I'm just going to set the resolution to 25. So that'll only be a quarter of uh, 1080p and you can make it bigger. I might actually make it to like 30. So now I need to just render out those frames as uh, just individual files. So I'm just going to go to the output here and I'm going to uh, add an output. So I'll just go like this and I've just made a folder called GIF file tutorial and I'm just going to put all the pictures inside that folder. So make sure it's set to PNG or I mean if you want to you can use JPEG but we're just you need to convert them to uh, images. That's all good. Uh, I can go render and render animation or control F12. And here's all the images in uh, that. So I'll just go right here. And if I just uh, look through the photos, you can see that's it. And now that I'm in GIMP, I'm just going to go file and I'm going to go open as layers. So what we're going to do is we're going to use GIMP to actually turn this into a GIF file. So I am going to now just drag and drop the folder. And you can see here's all the images. And I'll just press control A and that'll select all the images in that folder and then I'll click open. And now it's opening up each uh, image as a layer and then we're gonna export that to a GIF file in GIMP. So the files have imported and now usually what I have to do is I have to flip um, the stacking of the layers. For some reason I just have to do that so that then when I turn it into a GIF file it's, that it's not going backwards. So I'm gonna go into layer and stack and then reverse layer order. You may not need to do it, but I think usually you have to because it'll export it and the GIF file will be playing backwards. So just do that and then you can go file and you can go export. And I'm gonna save this on my desktop. I'm gonna call it me.gif. And you have to make sure that it has a dot gif behind it. So dot gif and that's uh, telling it that we're gonna export it as that file format. So now click export, and now we'll have some settings here. Uh, you need to click as animation, so it'll be uh, exported as like an animation, and then this right here, delay between frames where specified, this is how much of a delay is gonna be in between each frame. So this is basically the speed of the GIF file. So usually I think that um, somewhere between 30 and 60, uh, works pretty good. So I'm gonna just uh, set this to maybe 40. It, it depends on how many frames you have and also what the speed you want. So if you want the GIF top, but if you want the GIF file to be really slow, then you should set it to higher frames. But if you want the GIF file to be really fast, you should set it to a lower number because this is how many milliseconds is in e within each frame. So it'll there'll be a frame, then there'll be 40 milliseconds, and then there'll be another frame. So uh, this is a value that you're just gonna have to play around with a lot. Um, and so I'm gonna click export. So here it is. Uh, so just to play around with it, just to show you, I'm gonna set it to a higher, uh, to a smaller amount of frames in between so that it's a bit quicker. And I'll change this to 30 now. So then I'll export that and it'll uh, end up being a little bit faster. 
So now you can see it's a bit faster. I'm going to make one more GIF file, and this is the GIF I'm going to make. And I'm going to be showing you what to do if you have too many frames, because sometimes you want to show a longer like action like this, but there's so many frames that it kind of takes a long time and it it's like really smooth and it doesn't really have that punchy low FPS, like low frames per second GIF feel to it. So I'm going to show you what I do in that scenario. So I have these images here and uh, this is something I did. I just put it into Blender again and just like the other one, and I uh, just rendered them out as PNG files. But you can see there is 111 frames. And it's just not as punchy and it just doesn't feel as good when I'm turning that into a GIF file. And also the, um, the GIF file size is bigger, like the storage size. So what I do for this when I want it to be a bit of a longer action, but I still want it to be punchy and stuff, is in my file browser, once I've rendered out all the frames, I just select uh, I just select uh, every other strip of frames and and then what I'm gonna do is I'll just delete them and what that's doing is it's cutting all the frames in half so I only have 53 frames now and that's a lot better I find I found with my experience of making gif files that if you make your gif file around 50 frames it usually works better again it really is up to you. You can make your GIF file however you like, but I found that it kind of looks the best if it's about 50 frames, you know, give or take some. If you wanted it to be even more, you could like do that again if you had even more frames and just delete that. Uh, but this is gonna be great. So now I'll just do the same thing. So I'll open up GIMP and I'll just click open as layers. Press Control A to select them all and open the frames. Layer, stack, reverse layer order, and then click export as. I'm gonna call this wave.gif for GIF, so it'll uh, export it as the GIF format. Click export and then click as animation, and then you can just do whatever you want again. I like 30, it seems to work pretty good for uh, a GIF file with about 50 frames. And now you can just look at it, and here it is. And then I just want to show you one last thing in a scenario that you have only a few pictures, maybe even only like three pictures and you want to be like kind of like a really choppy kind of thing. This is only uh, six pictures. And so what I would do for that is I used a hundred milliseconds. And if you want to even go more, I could go 130. So you're just going to have to add a lot more if you have only like maybe three images and you just want the images to kind of bounce back and forth. And you can see this is kind of cool. It kind of is a punchy feel. So that's how I make GIF files. I hope this tutorial helped you. Also post in the comments below what kind of Blender tutorials you guys want to see. I can't promise anything, but hopefully if it's a tutorial that you want me to make, I'll see if I can make it. No promises, but hopefully I can make a tutorial if I get a request for one. So post in the comments below if you have any tutorial requests. Hopefully I can make it. Thank you for watching. See you in a future tutorial.